You know what? This is perfect. This is perfect. Let's go. Liliana can lead. Because we're not getting Morgan to talk to people, okay? Morgan, just shut up. Don't say anything. Let Liliana do the talking. At least Liliana can talk. That much I can... I think I can rely on. <laughs> oh, this is kind of an interesting change of pace. That's so weird, though. Why did they let Liliana and Wynn go? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Shh, shh. We got it, we got it, we got it. <clears throat> it's oh. done. Hmm. What do we have? We have... Ooh, but we don't... I do have some weapons, but if we hold it, then it's gonna be too obvious, right? State your business. <laughs> don't let Morgan talk. We have come to perform last rites for a condemned prisoner. What for? Mother Augustine is already here. You know what? This might actually be perfect because Liliana was a lay sister. Let us pray, sister. Maker, forgive these godless souls. They know not <laughs> what they do. Spare them your wrath and do not torment them with boils, festering <laughs> rashes, and lesions. Although they call into question your wish to show compassion to the wretched, do not deprive them of compassion when they are in need. All right, all right, wait over there. I'll get the captain to let you in. <sighs> Make us breath. Morgan reciting a chantry. Fate truly has a sense of humor. That tale should have fooled no one. Everyone trusts priests. It's only natural. If you believe that, you are a bigger fool than those guards. Hey, it worked. All right, what's this about? We have been sent to minister the chant for the prisoners here. How many priests does it take to pray for a handful of wretched criminals? Fine. I'm not one to argue with the chantry. 1.2 priests per prisoner is the ideal ratio. Thank you very much. Must you keep poking me? Yes. Yes. All right, we're in. We're in. This is actually perfect. Liliana Morgan. Let's go. This is our girls' night, Morgan. On my way. Hold up. Do we want to attack people right away? Be on your business. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Wait, I want to pick I want to pick open the chest, but will he get mad? If he gets mad, I'm reloading. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the Liliana is the talking person, and then Morgan is if we actually have to fight. Live perpetual sacrifice, pray for us. Sing our names to the Maker that He send us light in these dark times. I don't think we should talk to her. Oh, I wasn't expecting. Did Boan send you? I already told her I'm old, not dead. I can handle the work here perfectly well. I... I'm sorry. I've served the Chantry longer than she has. And what do I get? Wouldn't you like to retire, Mother Augustine? Retire? I have not spent 30 years ministering to the condemned to spend my days gardening and tatting lace, I'll tell you that. Preposterous idea. Liliana, calm her down. I had no idea we were being sent here to slight you. That's unconscionable. It's an offense against the Maker is what it is. And it's about time I did something about it. Be good enough to mind the chapel for me, would you, dear? I'm going to give that woman a piece of my mind. Of course, sister. There's nothing to do in the chapel. This is... Well, okay. Yeah, there's... Oh, maybe just driving her away in general? I don't know. But there's nothing to do here, anyway. Uh, sister, just ignore me walking past you. Ooh, ballistas. Well, we'll have to fight our way out later, maybe. What's the point of putting ballistae inside the fort? Some officer probably thought it was a good idea. Ew, why does it have like a dog thingy on it? That's gross. And not pretty, not aesthetically pleasing at all. This might be tricky. If you wish to plan, do it quickly. They may be taking the warden for execution as we speak. Liliana, I trust you. 
You can talk. What? Really? I think we should talk. We should talk. State your business. Oh no, it's blonde, Liliana. Oh, clashing hairstyles, that's awkward. You're the officer on duty, aren't you? I am. Is it difficult? I can't imagine being responsible for the lives of an entire fortress full of people. What do you mean? <laughs> Everyone depending on you all the time? What? It doesn't keep you up at night? You don't think to yourself, what if I slip up? What, <laughs> what happens then? No. And not just in the fort. The whole city of Denerim relies on you. Thousands of people. I hadn't really thought of it that way. I just can't imagine. You know, I... Maker, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Where are you going? Perfect. Yes, everyone, just leave. Get out of here. They're all, all of them are leaving. Liliana, I, I love you. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Oh my god. Ooh. Best prepare for battle. No one will believe we belong here. Oh, are we in like a a tough section now? Oh. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> probably should have listened to Morgan a little bit, huh? Uh with Liliana? Liliana and Morgan. Should Liliana use daggers then? Because otherwise, we don't have any sort of melee person at all. Feels like that's just isn't gonna work out. But I guess we can test it out first. Yeah. I'll, I'll try using the dagger for now. We can still do stuff like- Oh, the bear! The bear would be a good one. The bear can be our tank. That'd be good. And then... All right, did I take off your clothes, Liliana? There you go. Not like that, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> okay. Mm. Hold up. Intruders! Oh no, this is not good. Let's see if I can... do that. Oh. Only one? I see. Ah. I really need you both to go away for us. Hold on. Oh, perfect. Was that the bear? I shall do it. Begin the onslaught. Oh, this is great. This is great. No, nah, scatter shot from somebody again. That's annoying. Crippling shot. I don't even know what's good for Liliana, really. Right away. Probably activate suppressing fire. Slam. Critical damage. Cone of cold plus slam. How about that? Hurry. Ooh. Mm, let's. Blizzard? How many people are there? Just two more? So be I think we'll be okay, maybe. There we go. I see. Hey, maybe this will work out. They can't make it too hard, okay? Oh, thank you. Thank goodness for the bear. Goodness. The bear should be the person walking. Okay. We'll shut the door behind us, make sure that nobody sees what's going on here. Liliana's still got the helmet on. There you go, look all pretty again. <laughs> Logan's crown. We just have it here for whatever reason. So petty. We just stole it because we could. We know exactly where Wellens is. Okay. Kennel. That means there's gonna be hounds. That's really... We gotta be really careful then. Mabari hounds and all that. Overwhelm. Yeah, we'll visit the other rooms later maybe. Oh. Free weapons? Ooh. Hey, how come the bear isn't healing up? Are you healing up? Oh, it is healing, but super slowly. Okay, I see. 
Liliana, here you go. I think we should be okay regardless. You guys ready? Oh yeah, Mabari Hounds. Oh damn, Morgan. Mm, should the bear go kill that guy or focus on the Mabari maybe? Damn. I can do scatter shot too. As you like. Yes, beautiful. Delightful. Let's end this. Oh, this is great actually. This is working out pretty well. Oh. Thanks, Morrigan. Hey, these two make a better combo than I thought. I wanted to do more of talking and running around. Pretending to be Chantry sisters, though. <laughs> that means that every single person we bring probably does different things. Because I can't imagine someone like Ogren trying to pretend to be a believer of Andraste. <laughs> okay. Oh, Crushing Prison is still on cooldown, no wonder. Is your time to Crippling shot. Liliana... Okay, do the crippling shot first. But you really should be doing scatter shot. I never like this part. Yes. Oh, that dude's already dead. Damn. Hey, guys, we're here. Yes. This is so exciting. <laughs> hey. What, whoa, what's happening in here? Wellens, why are you? <laughs> it looks like, like a little bit of a compromising position. I see. Hmm. Does Morgan just randomly get XP for opening a door? So be it. Come quickly, Warden, though I doubt you are inclined to linger. There you are. Follow me, the Arl is waiting for us. That's like the first time. Aw, Morgan. Does Liliana not care about me? Probably because she's already at 100. Morgan keeps saying Warden here. That's the first time she's really referred to us by something like a name, but not really. Your friends have broken you out of your cell, and now you must fight your way out of Fort Draken. All right. Oh, I was like, who is that for a second? <laughs> yes. You... Kaelin's stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Got all my stuff back. Okay. Let's go, guys. You would like something? I guess we should explore the rest of the place now, instead of immediately going back the way we came from. Holy... Hey, they're breathing! They're breathing! We should help them! But we can't. What are they... Some, like... It's just some torture chamber? We read about this place before in the Codex, I think. It was left over from... The Deventer Imperium Ages or something. It is begun. Prison, kennel, huh? We'll check out the other side. Oh, I can actually just wear this, right? No, I can't. It's not an actual helmet. Oops. Oh, I can't take off my helmet? It seems like it's not letting me use the book for some reason. Okay, I'll worry about that later on. We gotta go. Close the doors behind you guys. Gotta make it look like we've never been here. Very People well. up front don't know what happened yet. They don't need to know. Colonel's office might be... So oh, there's... <laughs> look on the map! Look on the map, get ready. Damn, Morgan, save some for the rest of us. <laughs> she already killed him, basically! Wellens didn't get a single hit in. Alright. 
It shall be done. Thank you. Hey, Morgan, now that you're here, can we make some... Potions? Potent health poultice? Oh, I don't have concentrator agents. I'll make some greater ones. Oh, I don't have concentrator agents. <laughs> I have a new bottleneck here. There's more people here. Ready? More enemies ahead. I shall do it. Colonel. Oh, this is the colonel's office. I thought it was the other room. As you say, stop your drooling and save some dignity, fool. Oh, I didn't activate Indomitable yet. I'll wait till later. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Doesn't matter. Hey! Benefits of bringing Liliana. Colonel of what? Key to front hall door. Did we need that? Maybe. There is more people here. I will help however I can. Let's try going in with with Alistair. Hey, Alistair's helmet is stuck as well. Seems like it. Maybe let's wait until we get out of here. Or uh maybe what I can do is take it off. Put it on again. And then do it? No? We've got an intruder. That guy's dead already. Ah! Go, Alistair! Right. Ah! Fine thing we've done. Damn. But we're doing all this stuff before the lands meet. Is that okay? Killing guards? These aren't dark spawn. I feel like. Politically, there should be some consequences. And okay, let's say that it's okay for me to kill people at Fort Draken, but what about how? How is the current Arl of Denarum? That's gotta be pretty bad. Of course, I want to kill him for personal reasons, but... I just don't think it's gonna fly well with... More than one person... At the lands meet. Not now. It is not the time for idle chatter. You know, there's something about being trapped in a fortress full of people who want me dead that makes me think... Let us be on our way. Templar might not have been so bad. <laughs> Maybe we should speak after we get out of here. Just thought. Alistair doesn't seem to think so. Don't be such a party pooper, guys. Have we been here? Wait, where is... Oh, uh, no, this is the way back. Very well. I close the door. I guess we must have been able to do something with the ballistas. What? I have no clue. But we can't even touch it anymore. Oh well. Beautiful light streaming in from the windows. It's a bright new day. We're out of prison. Ah, uh, Might as well, right? Hi? What do you- wait, you don't belong in here? Guards! Do you have guards? There are no guards. Not even one. Are there guards? Morgan just tried using Crush in Prison. Didn't seem like I went anywhere. Key to front hall door, again. Can get this from multiple people. All right, we're out. Freedom! Oh, Woo! Oh, That's right. Very well. Damn right I am. As you say. <laughs> oh, this should be. Oh, more people. Wipe them out. Liliana. No mana. Okay. It is begun. Definitely think Scattershot should be higher on Liliana's priority list. It's pretty high now, but I don't see it activate enough. I saw it just now. Maybe that's the beginning of us seeing it more often. You ask for it. Push them back. Tear them apart. 
Key to reception door. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's close the door, guys. We don't need people to know about anything as we go out. It is begun. Uh, ignore the stuff on the ground. Ignore. This was locked before. Allow me. This room. I could do that for you. Thank you. And then, hey, the ah, we got the Chantry sister to leave. That's good. We didn't have to kill her. Let's go. Go. Any other places I would want to go to? What? Really? There's the warden, the thief. What? Be careful. One patrol's been wiped out already. Attack! Oh my god! They're really holding it against me for stealing from like one person? That's a oh, that's a freak ton of people. Liliana, you know what to do. You know what to do. Maybe get the guys over there if you can. Enemies ahead! As you say. Oh no. That guy's doing scatter shot. You saw it just now, right? Oh, Liliana, you're walking all the way up to the front? What are you doing? Aren't you walking a little bit too front? Maybe I'll just sleep. Easier to predict. Nice holy smite though, Alistair. That was great. Very well. Horror? Or... Waking Nightmare. Waking Nightmare on some of them? We're good, we're good. Liliana, how are you doing? Did you come help? Did she try summoning the bear? It's on cooldown. We're good, we're good. How are those guys doing? Fighting each other? Very well. Well, Yana wanna get that person. Send me. They're still sleeping. <laughs> Whack a whole bunch see. of them. Alistair, can you come up? That's okay, I'll deal with it. Probably. <laughs> I hit all of them with my two-handed sweep, which was stupid, because they were all sleeping and stuff. Back. It's fine. Oh! Oh, that was beautiful! Scatter shot. It's nice when it happens on our side, huh? Oh my gosh. And stay down. How many patrols are they gonna send after me? This isn't good. My reputation is in the gutter. And the lands meet hasn't even started yet. But again, we eliminated everybody. So hopefully no one will know. As long as we get out of here fast enough. But they knew. They knew I killed one patrol. And now they're after me forever. <laughs> These are all the same. Let's go, let's go. We're leaving a blood trail, wherever we go. Arl? Arl Eamon? I'm alone again. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Are you okay, Wynn? I haven't seen you in a while. I got kidnapped. Don't you have anything to say to me? I will answer to the best of my ability. No! Okay. Didn't, um... Where's Riordan? He should be here too, right? Oh, let's just go back. Is the... Um, helmet thing working now? No! I might have broken it somehow. Hmm. Maybe I'll look into it later. I'm not sure what to do in this case. 
I mean, it's not a big deal. But I just can't seem to use it. Okay, whatever. Shale, did you miss me? I'm back. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems <laughs> most impractical. I'm kind of curious about Zevran, actually, because we did kill his friend and I didn't talk to him after that. Do you think maybe Zevran would have something to say? Hello. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What is your desire? To know more about you. All right, but I get to stare at you mm. luridly. No? Yeah. What is your desire? Again? I'm game. Oh, yeah, right, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and they happen to be in the same room, too. Liliana and Zevran. Just get along, okay? And Liliana, it's not like that. Don't listen to him. Whatever he tells you, he's lying. We can't all be gallivanting about the house all day. Her Highness is here. Someone fetch the Queen some clean linens and be quick. The Queen is here, huh? Excuse me. The Lady Queen has summoned me to see to her unmentionables. You've spoken to Queen Honora? Well, not much. Just, may I air that for you, my lady? She's brought a maid of her own to wait on her. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Honora? I'd like to hear what you have to say about all this. Troy, are you okay? You guys are just clumped up in my room. Get out of my room. Riordan! Honora? Eamon? Make us breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. After your rather alarming lack of subtlety, I feared the worst for you. I prayed for your safe return. Excuse me? <laughs> what? You betrayed me! Well, what did you expect me to do? You announced me to my father's most trusted lackey. Did the purpose of my disguise entirely escape you? I barely managed to slip away from her when we reached the palace. I am hoping that, despite our unfortunate beginning, we can still work together. Will you hear me out? So you're saying that... Right, back then you were saying that both Hao and your father were against you, and we were escaping from Hao, but we ran into your father's people, which was still not a good thing, and therefore me outing you was a bad idea. What should I have done there, then? Just not say anything? I'll just be... She was coming to kill me. Okay, you know what? You know what? Let's let's put that behind us for now, but... I'm gonna remember this. Because now I know that you're a very... You will do whatever it takes to save yourself. That's important information for me to know. You asked for our help for a reason. We will need to work together. And quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first. But he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat. Yet even now, I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. The lady, the second-in-command lady, Cawthrian? I think her reaction to me telling her about the queen was, What? You've got to be lying, that's not real. So I, I felt like we could have maybe talked it out a little bit more before we... You know, um, before Anora immediately betrayed me, but you know what? Forget about it. Forget about it. Can he still take the throne without you? Perhaps. It will be more difficult for him, but if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. He is a legend. It's true. Our position in the Landsmeet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake How is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the lands meet, and there I can help. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset. Which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but 
You could have sent this information with your maid. Of course not. That is true. I feared for my safety as house prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the Landsmeet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. She's smart. And that's a very diplomatic way of putting it. Oh, I was hoping we could join forces. When in reality, it's more... I'm not going to tell you that information because you're not going to save me if I tell you so early. <laughs> and... Well, she's smart. She is smart. I can see that. And capable. And what of Alistair? I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. How are you neutral? You are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. You're not neutral at all. Like you said, you're Loghain's daughter and the widow of the previous king. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denneran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. We know Alistair a lot better. He's... I think she might be right in that he might not be more suitable in terms of his skill set, but... I think intentions would matter as well. With her, I don't know anything about her, besides for the fact that she's capable. So she might be great, but what does she intend to do with everybody here? And we already saw that she was willing to immediately give us up if it helped her herself. Which, okay, survivability and all that, but didn't exactly leave a good impression on me. Why do you think she's trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. True. I have some reservations about somebody who can immediately turn against their father like that too. Despite whatever the father is doing. But aren't we planning to depose her? Honora was a capable administrator for Kaelin's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Who cares about the blood, really? Alistair doesn't know the first thing about being king. Oh, maybe Alistair should marry Honora. Oh! He'd get eaten alive, just like Kaelin, my god. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. He knows how to stand and fight for justice. He knows how to show compassion to those less fortunate, and how to trust to the Maker's guidance to know right from wrong. And he knows who to turn to for aid, should that training fail him. He will be fine. If Arl Eamon says so, who am I to argue? If someone wants to argue for Queen Honora, I'm willing to hear it, but no one's gonna argue for her here. Why is it so important to put Merrick's son on the throne? Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring tourneys. 
Turns out the drop of blood is quite important, symbolically. Maybe Alistair should marry Anora? Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. <laughs> I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. I would kind of worry for Anora to... Uh, Alistair. Yeah. Anora. This is her chance to get the power for herself. She might not want to go back to another Kaelin situation. Let's talk about something else. We certainly have a great deal to plan. Mm, the alien niche, the Elven Rebellion. We've heard little bits and pieces about it. That's why it's blocked off right now. What do you think he's doing in the alien edge? Logan? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. I've got work to do. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. What? Well, I don't know why I randomly walked like that. That wasn't me. Queen Anora. Anora made her way to Eamon's Denerim estate and there offered her aid in defeating her father at the Lands Meet. Not unconditionally, I might add. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. How do you feel, Alistair? Of course. Not much right now. Riordan! Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. I'm okay. Yeah. Hey, are these your papers? <laughs> I wondered what Howe did with them. Yes, these are my records. Names of the dead I recognized at Ostagar. What was left of Duncan's recruitment records. Some encrypted copies of the joining ritual that I retrieved from our Denerim vault. Those at least ought to have stayed private. Oh, that sounds important. Then you know how to perform the joining? Knowing how I fear is not enough, for we would need not only fresh darkspawn blood, but a single drop of the blood preserved from an archdemon. What? For Alden's supply should have been in the vault, and it was not. I imagine Duncan had it with him at Ostagar, and Maker knows where it is now. It's not even just darkspawn blood, we need archdemon blood? Are you kidding me? And we're just talking about all this in front of Eamon. <laughs> Uh, pfft. What vault? It's located just off the market district in the northern alley past the Nord Noble Tavern. I'll oh. sketch out the code which will let you pass the lock wheel. Inside you can take your pick of whatever equipment remains. It is the stockpile the wardens have kept for centuries for the defense of Denerim. How does an Orlesian Grey Warden know about this? Dang. I was hoping I could learn a bit more about the Grey Wardens. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. And kill Darkspawn, yeah? <laughs> How were the Wardens founded? It was near 1200 years ago, and no one knows for sure except that it began with a group of Anders soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important, and traveled all the way to Tevinta themselves. They were the first ones to track down the archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay him, though none survived the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally founded the Order, and were recognized by Thedas. How many Wardens are there? It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record. But there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thedas. The Anderfels are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how unguarded it is. 
does the Archdemon recognize that the Grey Wardens are the ones quote-unquote destined to kill them? Wouldn't be surprised, we have a bit of a rivalry going on. Maybe they have their own records of, oh, you know, every 400 years or so, we send one of our own dragons to try to kill them, but every time we fail, and now we're on the fourth dragon. Have you ever been to the fortress in Weishaupt? Once only, and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lass, and very foreign. The Wardens there, they fight darkspawn like you and me but they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. We only saw it a little bit in our... when we were in the Fade. Our image of it, we don't know if that's what it actually looks like. Why has it been so long since the last Blight? Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the darkspawn, tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them. And it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. The old gods, before they get tainted, they're okay, right? So, during times of non-blight, would it be prudent for us to try to go down in the underground and try to find the old gods ourselves and... I don't know, do something to protect them or even kill them ourselves so that we can stop the blight before it happens? Would be kind of cruel, but I mean, things to think about, right? I guess that's all for now. The important thing to remember is... None of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. Thank you, Riordan. Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. I was hoping I could ask you about Duncan. Did you know him very well? We went through our joining together, <gasps> more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then. Tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only way he ever let himself down. What are your plans now? When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. You're going alone? Shouldn't I go with you? If there were more of us, I would agree. But as it is, I don't think we can deprive all the armies you've gathered of a commander. Okay, well, I need to get going then. Good luck to you then. We will have to talk again when the land's meet is more settled. Okay. Does that depend on us? When does it happen? Oh, Liliana, open this, please. Warden, let me know if there's any assistance I can give you. We have much to do and little time. Okay. We need to do all that we can in the few days left to us before the lands meet. Okay. 